Something tells me this temple is in use. I should probably put those initiates robes on. Where's the other? The sworn. There's the robes. Interesting uh, outfit, that's for sure. The eff this effigy is made of several crooked sticks tied together with rough twine. It casts an ominous, flickering shadow on the wall. Is good. Is she being used as a sacrifice? That's what this feels like. And I guess it doesn't matter that I was uh, wearing their stuff. Shoot. Alright, I want to take a closer look at. Uh, details of that. Uh, okay, you just have to cause the dominated affliction 15 times. That doesn't last for very long, though. Let's go ahead and... Boom. Silly with those hoods. Mages. Mages are Those hoods, yeah. It's not very good of them to uh, immediately attack their initiates, I don't feel like. Well... Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. Keep a lookout for traps and uh, secrets. I see. Like that. See something. Did. Shoot. Um, well, let's, uh, let's avoid it then. Jeez. I need more mechanics. I wonder if I can, uh, if I find anything that can raise it. Yeah, no. I think that I can see. Jeez. I see something. All over the place. I wonder what these do, but I don't really want to find out. Breaker, huh? Right, you guys get over here. Well, <laughs> you won't hold me for long. Mind breaker. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> uh, you two. You you don't want to attack? 
I've come to really appreciate them in this game. As you wish. Hmm. Relock picks. It's finished. Um. This corpse is bent. Forward as if watching her life's blood trickle away. Freaking yikes. Someone in there? A blood pool. As you approach the blood pool, the viscous liquid churns and bubbles. Feel essence rising to the surface, reaching out to you, whispering. Someone should clean that up. Some strange power seems to be animating the blood. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that, whatever it is, it isn't benevolent. Grotesque masks and pools of blood. They aren't half-hearted in their madness, are they? Connor wrinkles his nose. A place of death. We should not linger here. A bubbling cauldron of Skynes' hateful seed. He may be sniveling and cowardly in his ways, but he never lacked for focus. Extend our soul. The faint whispers resolve into a cacophony of voices. You imagine yourself surrounded by a hundred men and women. Their naked flesh is scour, scourged and bloody, or skinned and covered with flies. Their eyes are missing, replaced by glittering black stones. Hmm. The voices crowd in unison. What's this? Another soul come to rage and burn, or merely to watch? You may be a long time in waiting. Our work today is already finished. What work? The pool itself begins to ripple with the sound of a dissonant chorus of perverse laughter that breaks at your ears. The lapping blood stirs at large, a large metal cage, half submerged in the center of the pool and it creaks loudly as it rocks back and forth on a, on a rusted pulley, as if an answer to your question. Hmm. Who are you? A woman's voice replies, Nobodies, serfs and thralls and whores, used and thrown away. Almost all we had was taken from us, but what little remained we gave here. They hover at your soul's edge, feeling you out. Our fairy burned within us, unquenched and unfed, but hate can be fashioned into a weapon by those willing to pay the price. Another voice speaks. In life we were weak, but in death we made a choice. Choice carries power. Hmm, what kind of power? A voice cackles. <laughs> if you must ask, then you have never had need of revenge. They probe at the boundaries of your soul exploring your essence. It is a shame there is nothing in you we could use. The soul will sink back into the pool. Wait, let me ask you about more about this place. The time for questions is over, Watcher. The blood pool is still. Freaking creepy. Well... Ow. Hello. That's why we we're in this mode. Hello. Before. about to uh, take down a cult at the very least. 
Of course. That is truly not where I expected this quest to go. They shall see nothing while I see much. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, this room is I see yeah, something. There it is. It's still no disarming for me. Let's, uh, yes. And over here, really quick. No one's in here. Ooh. Definitely gonna need that, probably. The final journal of Jonas. What about the earlier journals of Jonas? My son. Tomorrow I become the effigy. Tomorrow I become Skane's embodiment on Aora. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip. For months we met in by secret conclave to plot our landlord's demise, all the while working the fields as if our hearts were content. Skeins teaches, Skein teaches us to plot with the mind while keeping one's face impassive, inscrutable. Fair fights are for those with armies. The quiet slave is our whetstone, our focus. In his worship, our cause finds focus, clarity, possibility. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip. Hmm. Was this an actual slave? Or a serf? By the uh, time you read this, I will be dead. I pray Skane does not abandon me for speaking of my plotting. But a son deserves to know how his father died. For I have volunteered to be the effigy. Skane will inhabit my body, using this old farmer's simple flesh as a puppet of godly rage. I have been shaved and anointed. Tomorrow morning, I will be your father in name only, as my manhood will be removed. Yeah, my nose and ears removed, and my ah, useless mortal eyes will be replaced with flint stones through which Skane will might see the world. Jeez, my son. I am sorry for the lies I have told you these past few seasons, but Skane demands secrecy. Even your mother knows nothing of my furtive service to the quiet slave. Curse my name if you must, but never weep for me, for I die for the betterment of our community, to smite our lord's corruption from the face of Aora. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip, for tomorrow I become the effigy. Jeez, I wonder if the master is the, uh... That noble. With the missing daughter. Skainite? Scripture. Burn. Feel thy hatred twist within thee. Feed thyself on its bile. Sustain thyself on its anger. This hatred, this bile, this anger. These shall be the tools for thy rebellion. Let thine heart seethe. There is no satisfaction in open confrontation. Hide thine hatred. Let it grow that it may fester. Make thy plots its in secret. The quiet slave stays in the shadows. His face seeks not the light. In darkness doth he work. In darkness doth he move. Rebel against those rebel against those who that seek to control thee. Rebel against those that wish to remove thee. Huh. Well, no need to go through that door. But what about this one? I'll see it done. It's finished. Got the effigy? No. <laughs> and still no effigy. There you go. And... Oh, we'll hold off that for a second. Um... There we go. Oh, 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 oh
Aloth now, you can use your... Uh... Alright. Y'all keep attacking. Nice. As you wish. You almost don't even need magic with guns like these. Yeah. Um, this has the stains of adamancy on it. Yeah, looks like they had a lot of sacrifices. I think this is the way to the effigy. Probably. Two posts stand firmly in the stonework with broken ropes. Falling into the dark chasm on a lar of a large cavern. On either side, there is a slight opening of where a bridge may have led. Let's inspect the area. The darkness below continues as far as you can see. Broken stone pillars, remnants of the missing bridge, rise from the abyss. Across the gap, you see the mouth of a tunnel. Wooden beams protrude from the stone on either side of the chasm. Despite their age, they look sturdy enough to hold a grappling hook and rope. Oh. I have a grappling hook. Two posts stand firmly, uh... Right. You aim for the beams on the opposite side of the chasm and hurl your grappling hook across the gap. It snags on one of the beams, digging into the wood as you pull. With a couple firm tugs, you determine that the connection is secure. You tie the free end of the rope to one of the beams next to you. It's not shimmy yet. Hello? Hello? I'll see it done. Oh. There we go. Finally, one I can disarm. Yeah. Blood and f gouged by fingernails. Yeah. This cult needs to be destroyed. <sighs> Love be Yeah. Sing love. Let's go ahead and uh same deal as always. Oh Aloth. Why are you taking his hits? Oh, Edir got trapped behind. I see. Get in there, Edir. There you go. Ah, oh, shoot, I didn't want to trigger them. Um... So All right. Let's go ahead and do, I don't know, amplified thrust against. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, please. Here we go. And when it's already down, though. My mind. Off It's not going exactly well.
shiny. There we go. It's a little better. Oh, you're still alive. Perfect. Um, let's actually shoot one of them first. Some of those worms. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, they're actually, uh. Unfortunately, not the strong. Are these cultists healing each other? Is that what that's happening? Is that what's happening? Yeah, they're a bunch of priests. Of course they're doing that. And they're buffing each other. Things like that. Shoot. Kill the damn priests. Following your lead. Shoot him. other still um kana give me more worms <laughs> the sentries leave it to me there we go and any more Up a second win. Following your lead. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 yes, perfect. Alright, now. The cultist. You three. Get the cultist. There we go. And let's get this one. Oh, this healing is source of my troubles. Follow Thoughts must flow deeply indeed. That was quite a surprising ordeal there. Yes. What is it? Uh, 
another final journal of Jonas. Huh. I guess it's the not so final journal of Jonas. This creased sheet of paper list contains a list of names. Some have been crossed off. Eat it. Leaves window open at night. Small house on the edge of Kindle Vale. Ooh, no. Herga Higerto visits from Old Velia. Doesn't speak a Darren. Keeps to himself, won't be missed. Tear faced. Lives in small encampment on road to log home. Takes solitary walks each morning at sunrise. Should be most vulnerable then. <sighs> Belmus. His parents leave him alone after temple services after Godden Dag. Senless. Visits a mistress in Vale Reach every third folk stag. Get him on the road. Check Gilded Vale and Andra's gift. May find more interested parties there. Yikes. Uh. Did I just... Seriously? Well... Well, keeping an eye out. Traps everywhere. This place is a little bigger than I thought it would be. It's actually kind of a problem. I think we're gonna have to come back here. I really need to. Head back. And, um, take care of my stronghold. So I do want to finish there before we, uh, confront, uh, was it Trigle? About uh, the missing lady. I just have a feeling that we're going to find answers down there. Brutish warrior has arrived. Seeking employment, huh? Oh, a skirmish armor uh, archer with a lion companion. That's neat. All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, first things first. Let's assign this uh, sign a, sign a druid. which is walk. Every few years, an order of druids from around the... Oh, perfect. Then I set the druid. Around the eastern reach, and meets at Mogren's Fork and performs a week-long pr processional along an ancient trail they believe was once used by Inquithians. In recent years, the trail has been uh, seen little use by kith, but is frequented by beasts and wilder. Due to the nature of the uh, processional, the druids carry no weaponry and take a vow to abstain from violence. They are seeking trustworthy mercenaries and adventurers to help protect them during their observances. Fair enough. We have enough time to rest here. While I'm here, as well, let's make another upgrade. I want to do the dungeons sooner rather than later. I'm still unsure of what kind of prisoners we can take, but... I'll never find out if I don't have the dungeons. Us do this. Manual resolution. Leaden key attack. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone attack the mage. Uh, Aloth. 
Mark and his soul. Interrupt him. Endurance. So did we have damage or no? What is it? Oh, good. So if you succeed at uh, fending it off manually, you don't have to worry about... Uh, yes buildings and stuff getting damaged. That's good. Alright then. Guess let's head back to that dungeon then. Taking down that coal. Oh, the grieving mother. You feel a presence hovering nearby. When you turn, you see the grieving mother observing you. Concern crinkles the corners of her eyes and seeps into your mind. You wear a call of your own, Watcher. I see you shrouded by old lives and unanswered questions. Hmm. Can you uh, see the details of my past lives? She closes her eyes, and you feel her energy directed inwards at you. She searches your mind, your memories, and parts of that uh, you that feel numb and still. She is as gentle as a mother with a newborn. Finally, she retreats. I am sorry. Whatever secrets your soul hides are not present in your mind. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I felt more... Felt them more and more of late. This is why we journeyed together. That one day, or that one may draw strength from many, and that many much that much may be mended by the purpose of one. As she peers at you, her brows seems creased with a new kind of anxiety. Her obscure past, does it trouble you? Well, yeah, but I seem to have been working for the person we're after. Yeah, it, yes, I don't know what it's in there. And that troubles me. Take care, Watcher. Do not let the unknown chapters of your soul thwart your present endeavors. You must fortify your mind and find clarity in your purpose. She retreats from you, fading into the background. If you did not already know she was there, here, you're su you suspect you wouldn't notice her at all. I like the Grieving Mother. She's fascinating. What is it? All right. Shh. Oh. Oh, just, uh, payday. No, 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 no. What is it? it. Can you all avoid I traps, shot. please? Yes. I don't trust the pathfinding avoid them even though hey. it knows exactly where they are. What? You know, her chimes yes. are actually terrible. Terrible for the purposes what of uh, sneaking. What is it? Of course. Well, 
Finish him off. That's it. Very good. And go around the trap, please. You're not getting through. Yes. Oh, they were actually. Uh... No, 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 no. Go. How may I help? Let's Yes. Okay. Ugh. This would be a lot easier if I could actually disable these traps. Yes. And what does the flame reveal? now like yeah let's go across now show me across the rope remains taut under your weight but you feel the tension and vibration of every movement as you shimmy across the groans and creaks of the wooden beams echo in the abyss you keep your progress slow and steady yeah the creaking of the uh, wooden posts you tied it to would be a little uh, concerning the sound of labored breathing echoes across the chasm some of your party is tiring reach the other side safe but exhausted yes like actually exhausted minor fatigue ah. of yes. course keeping an eye out <laughs> everyone else Go ahead and see the preacher there. Get the preacher. Good. He did. He's already going down. Ready to get the preacher? No, the preacher's still up. I shoot the guard. There you go. Yes. Damn it. Jeez. Heal, Edir. Come on. Hard your ass up. Oh, there's a grappling hook. As you wish. Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Hmm. Where is this effigy? 
I feel like we're gonna run into them. Priest. Cultist. Uh, Kana, you and, uh, will, uh, uh, oh, shoot, the priest. I appreciate it. Wonderful. Grieving mother. Said finish. Well. with the uh, hats. As you wish. They shall see nothing while I see much. Yeah, they do kind of see us all the time. How may I help? Well... Of course. Hmm. I see something. Good. Good disarm. A lot of grappling hooks in here. Guess they want to make sure you can cross that chasm. Are we going to need to go back, I wonder? him down a fatigued mind is a weakened one I was gonna go back and check this uh, corner here very nice well, this is where that door uh, led going to earlier. All three of you attack the, um, I guess the fanatic is fine. Keep 
interrupting them. Should have seen that coming. Nothing particularly special well. there either. Oh, it was a nice looking topaz though. Nice and quiet. Not for quiet purposes, but for trap purposes. Ineffective. She enters just two. Everyone. Not even. I'm so moved. Isn't shooting. Attacks that they were. Uh, against it. I could use some time to restore my spirit. What is it? How big is this place? Jeez. Oh, something over here. And something here, presumably. Of course. Where are they? On some beetles here, though. I expected cultists. Where there's a pick, there's it's a finished. way. My thoughts will be as silent as my feet. <laughs> One lone wood beetle. <laughs> Poor thing. End of a tunnel. Oh, you know what I bet this takes us to? The tower and the city. Yeah. Probably. Whisper here, I shall like listen. A secret door. 
No? Alright, fine. you all in now in fact let's do hey. this one at a time keeping an eye out what all of you Stealth. Fire cast Your will, light Watcher. Dark I? Yes. Right away. What is it? Still no. There's something ahead. Oh, secret. How may I help? There's the Crypt's Master Key. That must be where the effigy is. Now let's, uh... Hmm. I'll drop you two. Let's go for a, uh... I could use it just right here. Is a weakened one. We'll rest shortly. Don't worry. We aren't. We don't have the time restraint anymore. Of course. What is it? Maybe should we actually rest right now? Our HPs are a bit low for Edir and uh, Gwyneth, after all. What do we have here? Wymond. A large bull-necked man in a hood helps a young elven woman down from a glass chamber connected to a dizzying array of cables and machinery. Her skin and clothing glisten with fresh blood. Shit, there she is. Well, she's alive still, that's good. You may feel a little lightheaded for the next hour or two, but that will pass. Have a meal and get some sleep when you return to town. Transfusion. Transfusion. What did you do to her? <laughs> the girl sobs into the back of her hand. The transfusion will be smoothest if you relax and rest. The implanted essence already has a hold on your mind, so fighting it will be useless. Mm -hmm. And I hope our can... new visitor does not complicate matters overly. I do hope I can reverse that without her causing her harm. What's going on here? Subversion. The black sheep cousin of justice. Or haven't you heard Lord Heron's tale of woe about a missing daughter yeah. and an impending marriage? And that's her. He's sent his soldiers to scour the village while he bides his time at the Dracogen Inn. Wait. You, are you saying Lord Heron... Are you seeing what I think you're saying? That Lord Heron knows exactly where she is and is just waiting? I don't expect you to understand what I'm doing. Neither the rituals of Scan nor the labors of Anamancy meet with much approval in polite society. But insightfulness reminds polite society that there are limits. When no one pays attention to the excesses and debaucheries of a lord, you give 
them something they can't look away from. Hmm. What are you talking about? People around town seemed suspicious of Lord Herond. Decency's a funny thing. Most people have just enough of it to turn their noses up at something distasteful, but not enough to get their own hands dirty fixing it. Right. Lord Heron's been telling everyone she's his daughter. But she's not? He brought her all the way out here just to avoid anyone who might know differently. She's his niece. Oh. And she's carrying his child. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Such evil this crisis has wrought. To force a child on the daughter of one's own blood. Unthinkable. Why? Well, we know why, because he's a sick man, but... Why would he do that? Heron's own wife's delivered nothing but Hollowborn. Now he's got no heir, and his sister's child, Elise, is reaching the age to marry. Without progeny of his own, Heron's legacy would pass to her issue. Hmm. So, he found a way to continue his own noble line. By putting his child in this girl, his own niece. Are you... What are you doing to her, though? And Mancy's part of your plan to destroy him. You didn't have to resort to violence. Someone would have helped Elise. And yet, no one did. Not that innkeeper who wasn't above taking his lordship's coin. Not Heron's attendants who must have known. Not even his wife, the poor girl's aunt. Depravity huh. like this doesn't happen, but that people allow it. Yeah. This is the truth that decent folk don't want to see. Sometimes you need excess to fight men like Herent. I'll... I mean, I'll go take him out right now if you promise not to harm the girl. I'm less concerned about revenge against him than I am about the you know safety of the innocent, personally. This isn't just about hair and the girl. It's about the corrupting influences of power and wealth. How people of privilege, people like Herond, are so often insulated from the consequences of their actions. Sure. The charged essence of dozens of maltreated slaves and underlings is already taking root in her mind. Once it's established, it'll drive her to murder her uncle, her oh. aunt, and anyone oh. foolish enough to get in her way. People won't be able to look away from Heron's sins then. So you're making her a sacrifice. That's not... That's not the right thing to do. Seems like a lot of trouble to go to when a simple lynch mob will do. So yeah. They don't get a lot of things all... Uh, they don't get a lot of things right. With this kind of thing, they know what to do with. I do not wish to destroy Nestor Herond. I wish to end his entire rotten line. Including her. His name will become a curse among strangers. The deeds of his house will be eclipsed by his ruin. Foes will hear his name and shudder with pity. And any relatives who should survive him will abandon their fortunes just to rid themselves of the association. You're hot-blooded. Willful. But there is no room for mercy and vengeance. Sure. I, I'm i sorry, though, but I, I, I can't let you harm the innocent victim of that monster. Watcher, do not let this girl and her child become fodder for revenge. Let me touch her mind. I can free her from this snare, as well as from the memories that hold her captive. If you can do it, do it. Well, when you say free her from the memories that hold her captive... The grieving mother bows her head. Thank you, Watcher. You feel her reach out, persistent yet gentle. Elise does not move. 
The grieving mother trembles with exertion, and the air around her rings with sounds of chimes. At last she collapses, her energy spent. The strain throbs in her mind. For just a moment, Elise's eyes close. When they open again, her expression is blank. But as she takes in the scene before you, her, you, Wyman, and the machinery in this strange dark room, her confusion turns to fear and lets out a choked cry. Kill them. All of them. If she can't destroy Heron, then we can destroy his legacy with her. You... Are terrible. I, I need to save her, though. Um, fell off. Use that. You three attack him, shoot him. How may I help? Jeez, right out the gate. Endurance. Just tell me the girl is still alive. I don't think I see her. alive here, but I'm just... I trust she is. Oh, Elisa is alive. Oh no, she's near death, though. Is that because I attacked her? purpose of this kill them all right let's try this again um okay she's running away good 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 let's get the preacher yes run let's get out of there all right now let's use this Restless. Let's also get a uh, holy radiance. Or should I just interdict them? Um. Oh, 
Oh, wait, now the preacher is here still. Preacher, get the preacher. Um, worms. There we go. Oh, good. Elise. The young woman blinks at you and takes a few steps back. Stay away. I don't know. She shakes her head and rubs her temples. What happened here? Well, I rescued you. She looks around at the dead cultists and pools of blood, her eyes widening in fear and confusion. But for more, she winches and winces and pitches forward, holding her head. Helia's wings. I can hardly remember a thing. She pauses, her brow furrowing. She mutters something in a dialect of brow tie. Then Valian. Bah, no, no, my name is Elise. Her fingers dance at her side, plucking at the air in three repeated motions. A liar, the opening notes of the false knight. I. Her twitching fingers brush her swelling abdomen. She looks back at you, a question in her eyes. There's a reason you forgot, Elise. It's best not to remember some things. Uh, does she... Mm. You're a young noble who was taken advantage of by unscrupulous relatives. She nods absently. I also know I can't go back to that village. I don't remember why. She looks around at the strange machinery. I certainly can't stay here. You are free to go wherever you want, Elise. Find the road and keep going. That would basically be sending her to her death, I feel like. There's a temple on the edge of town. I'm sure the clergy will help you find someplace safe. Hmm. Yeah. I think the clergy of Brath will probably do the right thing and keep her safe. The suggestion sinks in slowly, but it seems to take root in the newly barren places of her mind. It's good advice. She takes a final glance at the blood spattered chamber. I won't look back. She hurries away. Ah, oh, I'm just happy she's safe. Well, we certainly need to go have a very long chat with uh, a certain noble. Possibly a chat at the end of uh, the barrel of my pistol. What did Wyman keep here? Atuk. Hmm. It is a unique dagger. I mean, it's exceptional, which is nice. Plus 10% hits, converted to crits, plus 5 accuracy, which I think might just be a, a dagger trait. Well, if nothing else, I'm sure it's worth a lot. Wyman's Notebook. The looping scribbles are difficult to read, but as you flip through the pages, you can make out several passages. Near the beginning, you read, will be a suitable place for my experiments. There's an abundance of space, and more importantly, the locals are content to ignore it. I could probably constrain. You skip ahead several pages. Willing volunteers, Legacy has brought many grievances to the surface, and capturing the essence is primarily a matter of timing. The ritual of the effigy serves as a good template for... You scan the middle of the book. Died and their essence evaporated. Next time, I'll have to try a smaller concentration of the reagent, too. Mm. It's a lot of lives tossed away for no nothing. 
noble from Defiance Bay. Results were mostly consistent across the other subjects. The challenge is always applying the method to an unwilling participant. But her situation may prove an advantage. If I can bring those memories of her uncle to the forefront, it might render her essence more susceptible to the process. Mm. Yes. Well, next, like I said, next time we'll go have that chat. 